Hey friends, welcome back to the Hooligan Knitter Podcast. I am your host and resident Hooligan Sierra, um, coming to you from St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, and this is my little podcast where I talk about my knitting. So let's talk about it. Um, first off with what I'm wearing, this is my season sweater by Ozetta and I love her, um, both Ozetta and the sweater. She's a little wrinkled, don't worry about it. Um, I knit this out of paint box yarns, Simply Wool Worsted, is that what it's called? It's whatever their Superwash 100% um, wool is. Um, and it's not wearing incredibly well. I mean, it's definitely, we're getting a little fuzzy and a little pilly, but but I love the sweater. I wear the sweater so much. She's so just like comfy and easy to throw on. I mean, this might be my favorite sweater I've ever knit, which is why I'm making another one. Oh, and then this is just like a little hair thing that I made. It's just like a strip of garter stitch that I tie around my noggin. All right, so as far as finished objects, last time I recorded, I said that I was going to finish the bralette that I was knitting. I didn't do that. Um, I have been working on it, but I haven't finished it. However, instead, I have been working on other things, which is why I have three other finished objects. Um, the first two, as a little bit of context, a little bit of backstory, Johanna from Femme Knitted sent me, like, a ton of yarn, which we'll talk about at the end. Um, but they specifically requested that I make them an essential beanie by Andrea Gaughan. So I did. This has not been blocked. Um, per their request, they want to block it themselves, which is fine, because I wasn't going to block it anyway. I did, this is DK Weight Yarn. I did the adult large. Um, I didn't gauge swatch because it's a hat, but, uh, what else? We did the single fold brim. It looks super tiny, but it's an all over ribbed hat. It stretches. Um, and then the yarn, I don't know where the ball band went, but I have this lovely little letter that they sent me. Um, it was Queensland collection Kathmandu in the color Dove, and it was a superwash merino silk and cashmere blend. And Johanna is lucky that I love them because if I didn't, and if I was a bad person, I would just keep this for myself because it is so squishy and so delightful and I am obsessed. But I, I'll send it to them because I'm a good person, but like, I'm gonna be sad about it. But yeah, it's a lovely hat. I will probably make more, I will definitely make more essential beanies. Um, but this one just turned out so nice because of the yarn. So this will be sent off to Johanna at some point along with some other goodies. One last look. The decreases. Incredible. And then also for Johanna, they didn't ask me to do this, but I did because I'm a good person. I knit some DK weight socks. And there are two of them. They have also not been blocked. And they know about all of these because I have been like texting updates. <clears throat> um, DK Socks. Unsure who the dyer of this yarn is, but it is this really beautiful, like fall colors.
they're really pretty um and i had a full 100 gram cake so to use up as much as possible um i did these toe up this is just a vanilla sock recipe adapted to be for a dk weight sock i did the turkish cast on then like a wedge toe knit my foot fish lips kiss heel and then two by two rib but to use up as much yarn as i could and to make them extra cozy because they're dk i knit a super long well not super long how long is this super long for me like two inch cuff and then i've just had them folded down because i think that's cozy but yeah Johanna keeps trying to be a sock knitter and they just aren't, so I felt bad. So <laughs> I, just, I made them some socks. <laughs> They're so pretty. Again, I have no idea who the hand dyer is of that yarn, but they did a really good job. They're really pretty socks. They haven't been blocked, so they're kind of hard to show but yeah second finish object both of those are for Johanna and they will be sent off sometime in the near future then finish object number three um, I've been wearing these so they look bad but um, these were just some impulsively cast on color work socks um, I didn't follow a pattern I just kind of did it but I had some white yarn and some red yarn and decided that tis the season Christmas sock time um and same thing I did my Turkish cast on wedge toe fish lips kiss heel two by two rib and then for the color work I did what did I do I knit three rows of white and then for the color I did contrast color, three stitches of the main color of contrast, three of the main, one of contrast, and then just staggered them. And I think they turned out really cute. Again, I've been wearing them, wearing them so they look a little shapeless, but I think they're really, really cute. Um, where else? Oh, I knit these out of Patton's Croy sock yarn. I don't know what the colorway names are, but obviously it's a solid red and a solid white. So, oh my God, there's so much hair on these socks. Um, yeah, Patton's Croy. Christmas socks from my noggin, but it's pretty simple. Those are my finished objects. Let's talk about my hoe, my half object. So this one also requires some context, some background info, story time. So Johanna from Fem Knitted and Anna from Scanny Legend were besties. Um, we are doing like a sort of yarn swap type thing. And so Anna, in case you didn't know, um, is dyeing yarn now. And so she sent me all the way from the great country of Canada some yarn that she dyed with buckthorn leaves and the color will not pick up correctly on camera. Like this has been established on her podcast. It's being established on my podcast. Nope, that's not correct. Mm, that's a little closer. Yeah. It's green, obviously. But, so she sent me this. And then Johanna sent me this, which also doesn't love to show up correctly on camera. Mm, pretty close. Um, 
This is String Theory on their Caper Sock Base, which is a Merino Cashmere Nylon Blend. And I saw these two and went, hmm, these belong together. And also, with my big brain energy, I knew that the other socks I knit with the Cashmere Blend, they're not doing great, friends. They are pilling like crazy. They are felting. They are so soft and comfortable. But they're not doing great. So in my big brain energy, I had the brain cell that day. I thought maybe I should make socks with these. And let me show. Let me just shut my mouth. And that's pretty cool. So I used Anna's yarn, Anna's hand dyed for the toe, heel, and cuff, obviously. But then I did alternating one by one color work with both yarns. So I still get that soft, squishy amazingness of the cashmere, but I'm hoping that since it's mixed with, I think this was originally Knit Pick socks yarn, sock yarn. Um, so it's something like a little bit more durable. It's gonna hold up better, I think. Also, it's like two layers because of all of the floats, which I can show in a second, but so yeah, alternating one by one color work all the way up. And I think this sock looks so cool. Like these yarns were made for each other. And it's incredible to me because Anna and Johanna did not like, to my knowledge, put their noggins together and like color coordinate. They just individually on their own sent me these yarns. And so I thought that I had to put them together in the sock. And I have been referring to this pair of socks as my Femme Legend sock, um, or my Femme Legend socks, because Johanna's podcast is Femme Knitted and Anna is Skinny Legend. So Femme Legend socks. And I'm just like, I keep looking at the sock and I'm going to keep showing it. Look at that. Sorry, Johanna just texted me. <laughs> that was probably so insane looking. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's really cool because the String Theory yarn is, I don't know if I would call this tonal or variegated. It's, you know, mostly blue, but with some teal. And again, it doesn't want to show up correctly. Why would it? But you can see the different changes in the sock. And I'm just obsessed and I love it. Um, I only had 50 grams of Anna's yarn. So again, to really get the most out of it, I gave myself a really long cuff. Again, these haven't been blocked, so they're again, kind of hard to show, but, and then I folded it down like halfway. So they're super squishy. I wanted a super squishy cuff because the rest of the sock is so squishy because of all the floats and the cashmere. Um, yeah, and I'm so excited about these socks. I've been showing everyone constantly. And I'm just, I'm gonna have so much of the string theory left over. And I think maybe it might need to be another essential me. Unless you all lovely people have any recommendations for a fingering weight hat, let me know. Yeah, okay. So this first one is done. I have started the second one. I started her last night. Um, I'm not very far yet. I've done the toe and like eight rows of the foot. 
Um, so not a whole lot to show here yet. I'm using one of the stitch markers that Anna sent me. It has my initial on it and that's fun. But it's green, so I thought it went well. Yeah. I think this is gonna fly by because I can't put it down. <laughs> And I'm so excited. And I think that I want to do this one by one color work with other yarns. I have plans, which maybe I'll talk about. Um, it just makes such a squishy, delightful sock. And I think that it looks so cool. Okay, enough about the socks. Moving on. Okay, I have two more whips to show you. First one, We'll talk about my bralette very briefly. The reason that I haven't finished this is one, eye cord makes me angry, but also I had to steal one of the sets of needles to knit the essential beanie. But I have since picked it up. I have done several inches of eye cord. Um, as a reminder, this is just the my Little Secret Crop Pattern by Jessie Maid, and I'm just knitting a bralette out of it. Made it look super cropped. I've done this before. I've done this at least two other times. Oh, that blue was so good. Um, yarn is Loops and Threads Lux Merino in the color Navy. It is a superwash merino, merino and acrylic blend. Very soft. And I feel like I'm playing a little bit of yarn chicken. Maybe it'll be okay, but I got scared. So I'm knitting the eye cord straps kind of two at a time, um, where I'll knit like 10 rows on one and then I'll do 10 rows on the other. I'm just going back and forth. Um, so that if I have to use um, like another like contrast color, at least it'll be at the same point in the strap, so they'll match. I really do need to finish this. Like, it's just some eye cord. <laughs> All of the other ends have been woven in. I just need to do the eye cord, and I don't want to. But I will, because I do really want the bralette. So I'll do it. I'm just going to complain about it. But... There's that. That, like for real, God, I'm throwing yarn. That for real will be done next time. And if it's not, I'm not recording. That's the deal I'm making with myself. I cannot record again until that bralette is done. Last whip is my season sweater by Ozetta, which I'm also wearing, but I'm also making another one because I love her. Um, last time I was still working on the raglan increases. Since then, I have split for sleeves and done about three inches. Again, this green is incredible. It's so good. I'm so excited to wear her. Um, she has taken a little bit of a back seat with all of the sock projects going on. Um, but I do pick her up and do a few rows on her here and there. Um, clearly since I've split for sleeves and done three inches on the body. But I have finished my current ball of yarn. So I am going to pick up for one of the sleeves and do that next. And then probably go back to the body. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just like winding my yarn back up. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a sleeve and then finish the body. Just to switch it up a little, you know? I mean, it's all half fisherman's rib, which takes a while. But I think the sleeve is going to feel like it's going very quickly because it's obviously a lot fewer stitches. But yeah, I love her. And I'm obsessed with this green. This is just like terrible quality acrylic yarn that I found at Goodwill. 
someone donated like seven or eight skeins of it because it's terrible. Um, and I saw that and went, yeah, I want a terrible acrylic sweater. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this really. It's incredibly squishy and itchy, but I am still very excited to have it. And I know that I will wear it a ton because I wear this one a ton. And yeah, that's all I got. And as we all know, those are not all of my whips, but those are the ones that I have touched since last time. Um, yeah, I've really just been going kind of back and forth between my socks, my bralette, and my sweater. Um, that's it. I do have a ton of acquisitions, some of which you've kind of already seen in the form of, you know, whips, but I still got more. Let's talk about them. Um, if whips are not your thing, fair. I love seeing er, whips. Acquisitions aren't your thing. I get it. I mean, I don't really get it because I'm incredibly nosy and I like seeing other people's stuff. Um, but if, if you're not nosy, if you're a better person than I am, um, th this is all I've got. So I'll see you next time with the finished bralette. Peace. Um, for the rest of you nosy people, you are my people. Oh shoot, I think I have yarn in my mailbox too, actually. Oops. Um, okay. This is the rest of the skein of the essential beanie that I knit Johanna. It's delightful. I only have 39 grams of this left, so it's not enough to get a hat. But maybe I'll make another little hair thing. It's so nice. Yeah, I think I'll make like another like little thing to tie around my neck. Because it's so soft, it needs to be around my neck or like around my head. Um, so there's that. I'm not going in any particular order here. It's whatever at the top of the bag that I grab. This is Juniper Moon Farm Neve? 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 Um, it is 100% Peruvian Pima cotton in the color Valentine. Wow. It is bubblegum pink. And this will become a Soho top by Kadri. And I do want to give like full disclosure. I was under the impression, the three of us were, me, Anna, and Johanna, we're all under the impression that this was a size inclusive pattern. We just apparently can't read, but we did find out a couple of days ago using our collective brain cell that we share that this does not actually go up to a 60 inch bust circumference. However, since we are all knitting matching tops out of the same yarn and one of us has already made the full top, we all own the pattern already, we are going to be making it. However, I just, I do want to throw out there that this, the Soho top by Kadri is not technically a size inclusive pattern, which is very strange for Kadri because I believe most of her patterns are. So I'm not sure if she just couldn't find testers in the larger sizes. Um, whatever the case was, I just want to let y'all know. But this will be a Soho top. Um, this might be the next garment that I cast on actually because I have to send the rest of it to Anna in Canada so that she can make hers. And the three of us are going to have matching bubblegum pink Soho tops. And I just think that's fun. Um, yeah, and it feels pretty soft. I mean, it is cotton, so I was worried that it would make me want to die, but it's like a chain construction. 
my hands are so shaky we went out for breakfast and I had two cups of coffee but <laughs> yeah Joanna said that it didn't suck to work with so I have high hopes so this I have five five skeins of this which is gonna be more than enough but there's that um I've also got two skeins of Drops Fable, which is their sock yarn. What color is this? I think it's salt and pepper. But yeah, it's just a sock yarn. Black and white. I'm gonna make some really tall vanilla socks. Um, I can get a full pair of socks. Oh, that's fun. Just a full piece of plastic that I just pulled out of there. I <laughs> love it. Um, I can get a full pair of socks out of 50 grams for myself because I have little tiny baby feet. But I think that I just want like really tall socks. And I'm going to do, I think we're gonna do some rib socks. Because I've been like in a mood where I like to fold down the cuff of my socks. And I think it would be really nice to have some very tall just cozy ripped socks. So that's what these will be. What else? What else? This is <laughs> uh, Pacific Northwest Pearls uh, Rainier Base. This was a Halloween color, clearly, in the color Monster Mesh. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 463 yards, self-striping. Whoa, look at this. These are going to be some incredible Halloween socks next year. Um, so this is just going to hang out in my stash for a while. Um, but these are going to be Halloween socks next year for sure. It's so so good the information if you want it it's so bright I'm so excited what else there's so much yarn in this bag um okay let me pull out the rest of this pink yarn oh here's the the ball band for the gray yarn from the essential beanie. I mean, I know I said what it was, but I'll also put everything in the description box. There's that. In case you were curious. <sighs> More pink yarn. Okay, I think this is the last thing from Johanna. I've got... A lot of this. One, two, three, four, five. God, they're hard to count because they're all floppy. Three, six. That's six of these. What is it, Sierra? Let me tell you. This is Cloudhorn Fibers Highland Superwash Sock Twist in the colorway Stone Heather, which is a gorgeous two ply. If you know me, you know that I am a sucker for two ply. I don't know what it is. I love it. Um. So yeah, six of those. What are you gonna do with six of these? Um, I'm gonna order more because I want to knit a moonset tee and I absolutely have enough to do that. But I wanna add sleeves because this is, I mean, it's a sock yarn. It is, oh my God, where is it? 80% Highland wool, 20% polyamide. Um, 
And I just don't know if I want an 80% wool t-shirt. So I'm gonna add long sleeves. So I do need a little bit more. But fun little fact, because we truly do share a brain cell, I have actually purchased this exact yarn, this exact colorway before to make socks with. Um, I made the Grow Socks by Fiber Tails. Same yarn. Um, <laughs> and now I have six more skeins of it. So I thought that was fun. And then, oh, they also sent me some shells um, because they live in hell <clears throat> Florida. Um, and they found some shells at the beach that they sent me. Here's that little guy. And then here's this little guy. So I've got those and those just make me happy. And then, so Anna sent me the yarn that she dyed with buckthorn leaves. And then I also bullied them into sending me a little nugget of, is this variegated or self-striping? I don't even know. I think it's variegated. But I got a little nugget of this. About 20 grams. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to make some vanilla socks um, with a white main color and just do some fun cuff heels and toes. It's another fun little two-ply. And I'm excited for that. Um, I do have yarn in my mailbox currently. It was delivered yesterday, but I'm terrible at checking my mail. I ordered two skeins of Drops Fable again in just a white color because my husband requested a pair of colorwork socks and I'll talk more about that when I have all of the yarn um, and can like show you. Where was I going with that? I'm gonna have leftover white yarn from his socks, so I think I'm gonna make my socks with the leftover yarn from that, but I can't cast them on until I finish his colorwork socks so I know exactly how much I have left. Okay, those are all of my acquisitions. Like I said, I did order more yarn that should be coming eventually, but it's not here yet, so it doesn't count. Yeah. That's all I got, friends. Um, put all my yarn away now. As soon as I finish my bralette, here are my plans. I need to have a vanilla sock to knit on during family Christmas, or I will go feral. So the plan is to cast on these bad boys um, as soon as I finish my Family Legends socks. <clears throat> so those will be cast on pretty quickly. And then as soon as I finish my bralette, I'm going to cast on my Soho top. Um, Lauren from Work Knits is actually hosting a cow starting December 26th, um, an invest in yourself cow. So it is, um, essentially at the end of gift knitting season for people who gift knit, um, to invest back in yourself and make something that you've been really wanting to make, but you've been putting off for gift knits. So... I mean, I'm really only putting this off because I decided to knit myself a bralette, but I've also done like a lot of gift knitting. I mean, I knit a blanket, I've knit several pairs of socks, several hats, a cowl, um, a satchel. I've, I've done good. So I'm gonna cast on a Soho top. Um, I have to double check. I'm not sure if whips are allowed, so I might have to wait until after Christmas to cast this on, but I really want to cast this on. So, yeah, those are my things. I hope you enjoyed seeing my things. Um, yeah, 
we're gonna go axe throwing this afternoon, which is very exciting. I've never been axe throwing, but I feel like it's gonna be like, it's gonna feel good. <laughs> um, work has been insane. Just like nonstop. So I think it's gonna feel really good. We're going with some of our management team who we're really good friends with. Um, and we're gonna throw axes. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go relax for a while before we go. We went out to breakfast this morning and had a big breakfast. So I'm gonna go chill for a while, work on my stupid bralette. Um, and I will see you people in a couple of weeks. Maybe, might be longer because of the holidays coming up, but I'll see you when I see you. Bye.